Jim Carrey is saying that uh, you should stop apologizing and just say yes to socialism. And I guess now that kind of explains why he is absolutely mortified of Steve Bannon. Why, why Jim Carrey is quaking in his boots uh, because Steve Bannon might actually have a public debate with uh, one of his opponents. So this is why Jim Carrey and a couple of other actors uh, decided to protest and boycott to the point uh, Steve Bannon got the platform. Well, now, now, now everything is clear, right? Because Jim Carrey is supporting an extremely unpopular ideology. Uh, but, but I, I mean, I, I, is, it, is it just me? Is it, is it me getting old? Maybe, maybe this is it. You know, maybe I'm becoming old. I mean, look, look, look what a boomer I am, right? This is how I hold my microphone. Do, do you understand this, right? This is, this is how I hold this. Because I am getting old. And it seems that maybe the times are changing. Uh, when I was young, I remember that uh, we used to listen to our political advisors for wisdom. And uh, we would uh, laugh and uh, uh, ha ha have a good chuckle at our entertainers, at our actors. Uh, but, but now it seems that the role is in reverse. Uh, like, I'm supposed to laugh at the United States president. Apparently, that's some funny shit. You know, the strongest man in the world is, uh, is a funny guy. Uh, and I'm supposed to take uh, the actor from Dumb and Dumber, the actor from uh, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, uh, seriously. This, this is the new way of things. I mean, when The Independent wrote this article, they were saying the cultural heavyweights. Oh, my God. You know, like, oh. I, I guess if there's another uh, economic crisis or, you know, if maybe heaven forbid there is a war. I mean, the, the situation in Syria is getting a little bit um, spicy over there. Uh, the, the frictions between the Americans and the Russians are at an all-time high. Maybe we should also look for Jim Carrey for wisdom, right? Like, Jim Carrey, how do we fix the next economic banking? You know what? Actually, no. Maybe he's going to tell us. It's going to be socialism. That's his solution. Okay, let me, let me explain to you why this ideology is incredibly unpopular. Everywhere socialism is implemented, and, and I mean no exception, you will see huge, gross human rights violations. And, and you will say, well, why? Well, the answer is simple. Because as you can see, socialists themselves, the people advocating for socialism, don't even know what the human rights are, so how the fuck can they respect it? I mean, just last night I was talking to this gentleman by the name of My Thousand Faces on Twitter, and uh, to, to his uh, props, I, I fully respect the fact that he wanted to engage and wanted to have an ideological conversation, which I actually enjoyed. And he pointed out that uh, he's a democratic socialist. And I explained to him, you can't have socialism without breaking human rights. To which he responds, what human rights would democratic socialism take away? And I explained to him the right to own private property. To which he points out that's not a human right. Well, it's a good thing someone decided to write these fuckers down, isn't it? It's a good thing we can't just have the discussion, what is a human right? You, you, you can't do the postmodernist shit here and try deconstructing human rights. No, they're written down. Article 17, Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Everyone has the right to own property alone, as well as in association with others. No one shall be arbitrarily deprived of his property. I, I, I can't even understand. Like, this is the thing which... Is pivotal for a free country. Like, without this, you are a slave to the government. Because if no one has private property, that means that you only get benefits and you only get paid by the state. Which means that the state is going to then have so much power over the individual that he's almost like a slave. Oh, you don't like the current party? Oh, well, the current party decided you get no more employment. Tough shit. You're on the streets now. But, and I like the fact that some leftists, some socialists go like, oh, well, uh, see, uh, we, we decided uh, in our ideology that property is going to be separated into personal property, like your toothbrush, uh, and private property, like your business. Uh, we, we're not going to take away your toothbrush, but uh, if you have uh, more than one house and you're renting one, well, uh, we're going to take that away. If you if you have uh, a business, uh, we're taking that away. If you have more than one car, uh, we're taking that away. With what right? With what fucking right do you take my shit away? You have absolutely no right to take mine or anyone else's uh, things away. You know what? I don't have two houses. I don't have two houses, but other people do. And I'm going to defend their right to have two houses. I'm genuinely going to, like, if, if there is a red revolution, I am going to go out on the street and be on the part that is fighting the red revolution. Because maybe one day I will have two houses. Maybe one day I will be the guy with two cars. Maybe I want to have my shit. Maybe I don't want to pray to the government every time I need something. You know, I remember when I was a kid, and, and every time I wanted some money, I would have to go, Mommy, Mommy, can you please, please, Mommy, I, I don't want that again. I'm a grown-ass adult now. 
I want to work for a living. I want to make my own money. I don't want to be reliant on the state. Fuck you and fuck your socialism, Jim Carrey. And honestly, this is uh, the, the reason that Jim Carrey has to do apology for socialism, because it is a horrible ideology once you think about it. And it is a very violent ideology as well. Because how, how can you take the, the, the shit from people? How, how, wait, with, with what right can you go to a person and say, yeah, you know your business? We're taking it now. Why? Because fuck you, that's why. I, I mean, just because I have the misfortune of creating a business in the state that is now socialist means that my shit needs to be stolen. And, and it's not only that, like, if you actually speak with socialists, eventually you, you uncover their absolute hatred for the rich. Okay, something that I can only look into other ideologies and I can see what the national socialists, the Nazis, felt for the Jews. The same hatred that the Nazis had for the Jews, the socialists have for the rich. I mean, look at this. Fuck rich people. They're worthless parasites. We'll just seize their assets and whatever group of people is galaxy brain enough to think upper class positioning is based on merit, we can have them. <laughs> like, what the fuck did you do to work for them? What, what did you do in order to build that shit? Nothing. Nothing. You're sitting on the platter, clackety clacking all day, and you think you deserve shit that you haven't even worked for. Horrible. You know, this is why they want to take the guns away. You no, know, like, seriously. Like, j just think about it. This is why they want to... The, the thing that, that is absolutely amazing about the United States is that you can't force an ideology upon people. Socialism is an incredibly unpopular ideology. Uh, so, so this is why they try, oh, maybe we can have democratic socialism. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. You know, like, try to vote it. You still have an American constitution that, that you have to consider. So you'll need so many people to vote in uh, to the point that uh, you, you will give up eventually. Like, democratic socialism will not work, at least not in the United States. So, so the other way would be to force it, to try to force it, like they did in Russia, like they did in other countries. You can't, because Americans have guns. You know, go, go to the rich guy and say, yeah, we're here to take your shit away. You're not going to have a very good time, are you? So, so you know, maybe, maybe disarming the population first is a good idea. Maybe, maybe try to take their guns away. So they have to resort to all these cheap tactics in order to try to gain more people on their side. Uh, it's like, okay, let's, let's, let's get more socialists into Hollywood. Let, let's get more people like Jim Carrey into Hollywood so that we, we keep making movies that criticize America, that criticize capitalism. Oh, look how horrible it is. Things need to change. And of course, socialism needs to be the only acceptable answer. If you get someone like Steve Bannon that promotes change and he, he wants a different opinion, it's like, no, let, let's deplatform it. Sure, sure, sure. No one criticizes socialism. Because it's such easy ideology to criticize. It's like, you, you give me any, any person that's not ideologically inclined in one way or another, a moderate, I, I will sit him down. 15 minutes, I explain socialism to him, and I'll say, well, that's kind of fucked up, isn't it? There's so many arguments against it. Like, why, why would the government, why, why, why would the state know how to handle my business more than me? Like, like I generally go to my business every single day. I, I go there, I know the people who work there, it's in my interest that the business flourishes. How on earth would the government have any fucking clue, better than I do, on how to make my business? How, how can the government plan for the whole economy and make such an infallible plan that nothing goes wrong? It's, it's just the perfect plan. And even if you manage to do that, even, even if you genuinely like manage to plan for the, the whole economy, um, what about the other nations around you? You, you got no influence against, for, for them. They, they can have different economies and different things. And then they start complaining. It's like, oh, socialism doesn't work because capitalist nations are around us. No fucking shit. I mean, okay, and anyone that wants to understand why socialism doesn't work, um, like one of the reasons, because there's so many. But think about playing StarCraft. You know, like the, the, the first uh, StarCraft that came out, you had to micromanage, like, every single unit. You know, you, you, you didn't have rally points. You didn't uh, have a lot of shortcuts, right? So, so you had to micromanage every single unit to do whatever it did. It, it was a huge chore. Now when you play the recent StarCraft, you get rally points. You don't have, like, units just micromanage themselves. And you can focus on more important aspects. So, so think about that issue. You know, like, think about the government, how strained it is, and, and how difficult it is to micromanage everything that goes around it versus an economy that works by itself. You don't really have to, to care about it that much, except maybe one or once or twice when there's a crisis or when, when something happens. It's a lot easier for the government to then just focus on the actual important things, like talking with other governments and negotiating international deals and that type of thing. So let's go back to Jim Carrey, the guy who pushes socialism on kids. Uh, you will notice that he's a very wealthy guy. Like, he, he is one of the richest actors in Hollywood, right? 
And uh, people like him are the ones pushing socialism in the United States right now. Very wealthy people. And you will see that they, they actually change the ideology. Like they're taking the literal interpretation of what Karl Marx said in his manifesto, not the spirit. And it's like uh, the bourgeoisie and the wealthy, uh, they're not uh, us, you see. Uh, it's the people who own the means of production. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's 2018. What means of production? Everything is automated. Everything is done by robots, by machines. But, but th th people can buy a 3D printer in their house and they can own the means of production. Are you insane? Yeah, but, but, but no, of course, you know, because they're wealthy. They don't want to lose their wealth. Just look at Cenk Ugar from the Young Turks. He's like, uh, you know, socialism, socialism, rah, rah, rah. And, and the moment, the moment someone talks about, uh, well, maybe we're in the 1%, you know, I mean, we, we are a media organization, online news network. We own multi-million of dollars in profits and Cenk is like, whoa, 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 no, 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 capitalist economy, capitalist economy, whoa, 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 whoa. Because now, now, now they're coming for him and no, 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 not for me, no, 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 but for you, yes, yes, yes. That, that, that is the mentality of the socialist, right? Horrible. That, I, I, every time I speak with a, social, uh, with a socialist on the Twitter, they try to convince me that Emma Watson is not bourgeoisie. It's just shoot yourself. I'm from Eastern Europe, okay? I live through socialism. I know what the bourgeoisie is. I know it better than you. That the moment you would have socialism going on, like the moment you would actually manage to, to somehow push it, is that it's not going to be you that's in charge. You're the rich. You're the filthy, wealthy person. You, you just have an ideology that creates hatred towards the wealthy. Do you think the, the little guy, the, the, the small pleb, the useful idiot that you created is going to make the distinction? It's like, hold on, Emma Watson doesn't own the means of production. Hmm. No, they're going to come after her and take her shit. They're going to take your shit as well, Jim Carrey. They're going to take all of your guys' shit. You know, this is why I actually say it's like whenever you talk about socialism and communism and shit like that, don't talk about the industry and the factories because they don't they, they, they don't even exist that much anymore in the sense they existed back then. We, you don't have workers going into the factories unless you're talking about China. You, you have machines and you got robots doing that, right? Unless you want to tell me to talk about the suffering of the robot that's doing the menial job and how bored the robot is doing the same shit over and over. Fine, we can have that conversation. But no, today, Facebook, Google, these are the, the factories, if you will. Amazon, Apple, th these are the, the companies where people work at and they're driving the business. So don't talk about factories, talk about the guy working at Facebook, talk about the guy working at uh, Apple. A and you will see that if enough people do that, the, usually the corporations are going to go like, hmm, maybe this ideology is really good for profit. You know, maybe, maybe we shouldn't encourage people to push this at the end of the day. A lot of people are starting to point at us. That, that's what you need to do, honestly, just on every forum. You know, when, when you see it's like, oh yeah, the, the means of production. Oh, so you're talking about Google. Um, Republicans have uh, slammed the Democratic Party upon the election of Trove socialist candidates in the primaries across the U.S., Honestly, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez is the best thing that could have happened for the right wing. Like you, you, you can't have, like even, even if I were to ask for, for a better person to come down from the heaven to be the right wing's opponent, you can't get anyone better than Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez. Like the, the things she is saying are so stupid that everyone has to do damage control for her. Like the, the mainstream media, the political machine that is um, trying to push the culture to the left is more busy doing damage control for her rather than uh, genuinely attacking the right and, and criticizing the right or pushing their own political message. I mean, just look at the Young Turks, you know, they, they had to have an entire segment to explain why, why she can't debate Ben Shapiro. And not only that, but why she has to be a child about it and say that uh, Ben Shapiro asking her for a debate is catcalling. An entire segment just dedicated to do damage control for this woman. Another example is when she said that she doesn't want the press into her public speakings. Doesn't give a reason why, but I assume it's because, heaven forbid, one member of the press might ask her an economic question, like, oh, Dios mio, heaven forbid, asking a socialist an economic question. <laughs> Word of evil spirits. It's, so, so yeah, no, this woman is amazing. She's absolutely amazing. And, and people like Jim Carrey is just, like, they, they are so absolutely dumb. Like, they, they genuinely think that because they're rich, that they can somehow morally justify it to the masses. It's like, uh, look, uh, I don't own the means of production. No, the masses are going to look. It's like, what, why is this guy living in a, in a mansion? How, how many homeless people can we fit in that mansion? Like, does he really need that space? No, we're going to take his shit away. And then Jim Carrey is going to be in the first plane away from the United States. And he's going to be like, uh, you know, uh, 
I um, I didn't really want this type of social. Like this is not what I wanted. Uh, so I'm leaving now. Okay, thanks. Bye. This is just genuinely what what I what I foresee will happen. Like most of these people, they actually think they're going to be the the talking heads and the 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 spirits of wisdom uh, for uh, the the new age of socialism. Uh, they 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 keep saying it's like. Um, uh, the Democrats need to get a plan to fight the slander of socialism. You're going to be living like in Venezuela. Yeah, and another shit. Like, look, look at Britain, like the Labour Party, right? They they hyped up Venezuela when, when it was starting to get socialist. Everyone was like, oh, oh, example, example. Yes, yes. And when it's starting to go bad, oh, not real socialism. It's like, listen, you want the state to have all the power. Like, do, do you understand this? You want the state to have all the power. And then you are risking on the fact that the guy who takes the, the, the ring of power, which you just created, is not only going to actually do what he claims to do. I mean, we're talking about politicians here. How, how many times when you actually elect a politician uh, actually does what he promises to do in the campaign? And number two, he is actually going to be competent and is actually going to, to manage to do things as uh, properly and is not going to screw up. And again, we're talking about politicians. So, so this is why socialism is not real socialism. Because you're just creating a system. Let's give the ring of power to this guy. He, he seems nice. He, he's definitely not going to abuse it. And then when he abuses it, well, you know, this is not why we created the ring of power for. It's no fucking shit. Like, how many times are we going to run this social experiment? How many millions of people have to die? I, I have nothing but uh, disdain for Jim Carrey now. Uh, he's still an amazing actor. He... Uh, helped uh, my childhood be better through the entertainment which he provided. However, now he is part of a ideology that's against human rights, an ideology where it's okay to deplatform other people. It's not illegal, but the spirit is just, it's, it's offensive. I, I find it absolutely offensive when he goes out and doesn't want to platform people who criticize socialism. It, it is just as offensive as I would find it if someone would deplatform him. Horrible. Shame on you, Jim Carrey.